Hi everybody and welcome to our next Metri Ethernet talk session. My name is Vasily Mukin, uh, I'm Solution Architect for Juniper Networks. In our previous talk I showed you how we can leverage VPLS on ACX 5K to enable eLAN connectivity. We also talked about what additional steps need to be taken to normalize VLANs to make the solution applicable for CVLAN bundling use cases. Now we take a step back to a simpler case of eLAN service. A natural choice for this type of connectivity would be an Ethernet pseudo-wire or VPWS if you think in IETF like acronyms. Meanwhile, in today's demo we'll see how VPLS can serve as a foundation of E-line connectivity. This technique also may be very useful in real case scenarios when some non-standard connectivity required in network. In our today's example, E-line virtual connection uh, interconnects uniports of two metro nodes we are going to use a VLAN based DVC which allows multiplexing of multiple sockets uh, at a single physical unit. Customer cost marking and CVLAN ID will be preserved end to end. CVLAN bundling will be enabled at DVC endpoints. As an additional attribute of the connection, I am going to apply a simple bandwidth profile to verify policy works fine in my configuration. I continue working with the lab setup we used in our previous sessions. Two routers are interconnected via MPLS fabric with pre-configured core facing interfaces. As in the previous example, we need to create endpoints of the EVC, enable connectivity and EVC control plane via Martini VPLS, assign course policies to endpoints, and enable bandwidth profile by applying a filter and policies to logical units at both ends. So let's take a look into configuration on both routers. On ACX 5K, I am going to use Uni XE0046 for our exercise. It is already configured with a few services we used before. I need just to add another unit for my new service and assign it with the right encapsulation and VLAN ID list, which corresponds to the list of CVLANs. And do not forget to add VLAN normalization at logical unit by pushing SVLAN tag on top of the ingress frames. This S tag, by the way, has significance only within given EVC and a pair of uni ports. If by any chance you want to use same S tag ID for EVC, which attaches to different uni ports, you are free to go, it won't interfere with the original one by any way. Now let's enable Martini VPLS routing instance. One instance for ELAN service is already there. Let me copy it and create a new one based on this template for new ELAN service. And we need to complete this task at both sides. Let's do first the logical endpoints at a max router. At the max endpoint, I've ended up with configuring encapsulation VLAN CCC instead of VLAN VPLS. That will make our exercise a bit more interesting. On a max side, I am going to use a regular Martini pseudo wire for my E line service. VPLS instance which we configured on ACX side should natively accept it and terminate it into VPLS instance. To make it happen we need to assign L2 socket with the same ID number we used on ACX as VPLS ID. And secondly, we need to disable control word on pseudo wire to make it consistent with the default settings used for VPLS on ACX side. To avoid mismatching of the MTU and encapsulation negotiated between two endpoints, we need to add few knobs under configuration of the L2 socket and VPLS routing instance at MX and ACX respectively. This configuration influences only control plane of the L2 socket and doesn't affect its forwarding plane. Once completed, we can commit our configuration. From a Mac's perspective, it looks like an L2 socket rather than a part of the VPLS routing instance. Control plane of our VPLS is up and running. So connectivity is there. Does it look like an E-line service? Not exactly yet. VPLS routing instance on ACX does MAC, ad MAC addresses learning 
which a regular e-line doesn't need. Let's turn it off. Now we have connectivity which acts exactly as e-line service. Configuration part for the course is obvious and has nothing new in comparison with what we did before. Let's send some traffic to EVC and make sure that data plane works as it should. I have three streams of traffic configured at XA traffic generator ports. Streams correspond to three different customers' VLAN IDs and variety of PCP values. Each stream generates uh, 50 megabit per second of traffic. I'm starting streams now. All packets are delivered without losses. So let's keep the traffic running and meanwhile I'll enable bandwidth profile on my E-Line EVC. For the sake of time I have my filter and policer pre-configured. All I need is just to assign them to my logical unit. But let's take a quick look inside of it first. I have very simple filter defined for the VPLS family interfaces. It basically references two RAID 3 color policer. Any traffic which hits an interface with this filter applied will be pushed to this policer. Coming to the policer itself, it has a straightforward configuration. In this case, we, we have a bandwidth profile with a CR, CIR set to 40 megabit per second and PIR equals to CIR, which corresponds to the excessive information rate or EIR value set to zero. Let's assign it as input filter to logical unit 5515. Now let's check how it looks in traffic generator. And also we see some traffic is filtered and overall bandwidth from ACX to MX roughly equals to 40 megabit per second which corresponds to the CIR value configured for the bandwidth profile. Now you know how VPLS can be used to enable your simple e-line service. Uh, we saw it works fine with filters and policers. We can use other VPLS flavors like BGP signaled VPLS or LGP VPLS without discovery at both ends for the same type of connectivity. And also in case of LDP signaled VPLS, we saw how it can be natively staged with LDP pseudo wire. Within a few next sessions, I'll go a bit deeper into configuration options for bandwidth profiles on both ACX and MX platforms. We'll talk about colorware policing, coupling flag, and envelope bandwidth profile defined by MEF 10.3 recommendation. Thank you for staying with us and looking forward to meet you at next Metro Ethernet session.